Get out of bed. In the middle of the night, when everyone else was asleep, Amy went downstairs. She watched the late show, the late, late show, the late, late, late show, the early, 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 early show, and finally went to bed because she was feeling somewhat tired. The next morning, everyone came to the breakfast table except Amy. Where is Amy, said her father. Where is Amy, said her brother. Amy is asleep, said her mother. I called her five times, and she is still asleep. What are we going to do? No problem, said her brother. I can get her up. Amy's brother ran upstairs and yelled as loudly as he could, Amy! Amy snored. Be late for school, said her brother. See if I care. And he ran back downstairs. Well, I know what to do, said Amy's father. He walked up the stairs and said in his sternest father voice, Amy, if you don't get up out of bed this instant, I am going to be very mad. Amy snored. <sighs> he went back downstairs and told Amy's mother, Your daughter will not get up. Well, I have something that sometimes works, she said. She ran up the stairs, stood Amy on her feet and said very nicely, Amy, please wake up. Amy fell over and went to sleep on the floor. <laughs> Her mother ran back downstairs and said, I can't get her up. I can't get her up. Oh, no, said her father. I have to go to work. Oh, no, said her brother. I have to go to school. I have to go to work, too, said her mother. But what are we going to do with Amy? Let's take her to school in her bed, said her brother. Amy's mother and father looked at each other and said, Good idea. So they put Amy back in her bed and picked it up. Then they walked out the front door, down the street, around the corner, through the schoolyard and into the school. They put the bed down in the back of the classroom and left. Later in the day, the principal came in and said, What's going on here? I don't know, said the teacher. It's Amy. She will not get out of bed. No problem, said the principal. She walked over and yelled at Amy as loud as she could. Wake up! Amy snored. <laughs> I give up, said the principal. So the teacher taught reading, and Amy didn't wake up. The teacher taught arithmetic, and Amy didn't wake up. They went to the gym, and Amy didn't wake up. They went out for recess, and Amy didn't wake up. They had lunch, and Amy didn't wake up. They had art, and Amy still didn't wake up. Finally, it was time to go home. Call the mother. Call the father, yelled the principal. Get this kid out of here. So the mother came from work, and her father came from work, and her brother came from school. They picked up Amy's bed, carried her home, and all had dinner, except Amy. Amy was asleep. <laughs> If she never gets up, said her brother, can I have a room? But the next morning, Amy did get up. She ran downstairs and said, I, oh, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten in years. Nice to see you, said her mother. Did you have a nice sleep? Wonderful, said Amy, but I had strange dreams. Then her mother went to work and her father went to work and Amy and her brother went to school. At the door of the school, the principal said, good morning, Amy. How are you today? Wonderful, said Amy, but I had strange dreams last night. I bet, said the principal. Then Amy walked into the classroom, and everyone <laughs> snored because everyone else had come in their beds.